helpful. Anyway, as always, listen to your bodies. Make sure you've got suitable footwear on. Make sure you stay hydrated through the whole set and allow yourself the freedom to sort of change your weight up and down. So if you feel like your arms are aching after 30 seconds and you need to put them down, just do the exercise without the, without the weights, okay? So you still tone in. And just make sure when you're working with weights, the most important thing is keep that back nice and straight. Don't you just isolate the muscles so that you're always working the correct um, muscles during movement. Here we go. Stand up with the match. I know you can hear me and I know you can hear the music, so that's all good. All right, take it to a jog if you can. Bring it to a jog if you can. If not, stay at the match. Just sort of loosen your arms, loosen out. Good. I've got my stopwatch ready to go. Okay, step to the side. Toe tap. Bring your arms in. Yeah, all right, up and down. Good, good, good. And I forgot to say those that are joining me live, thank you very, very much. It's always lovely to have some company. So who's joining us new? Good morning, Laura D. Everybody, oh, good morning, Janet. And I think everybody else is at like Bumps and Tams, so we are good to go. All right. Okay, so I want you to start with your um, dumbbells. You're going to tuck your tailbone under. Make sure your belly button's pulled in. Start down and you twist as you curl. So from here, you twist and curl. Now what you want to do is keep that back isolated. So you don't want to swing and lift. All right, stop watches on. All right, so if you guys turn to the side, just so I can see, double check your back. Perfect, well done. So just keep that frame going throughout the whole set. Just be mindful of the back, all right? Well done. You can turn back if you want to now. Squeeze. Good, well done. Relax the shoulders. Good, good, good. You've got eight seconds left here. And then we pop it down for ten. All right, just rest. Ten seconds. So it's actually like 50 seconds. You just stretch those muscles out. All right, picking them back up. Front lateral raise. Single arm. Other arm. And again, my tailbone is tucked under. My shoulders are relaxed. I'm taking my time. I'm not using my back to swing the weight up. I'm really isolating. I'm thinking where I want to be. Good, keep it going. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Ah, oh, yay, the dog has come into the class. Perfect. Love it. Good. Relax the shoulders. Now I want you to take notes. Bum. <laughs> Bum. Squeeze it. All right, and pop those weights down. Perfect. So what we're going to do now is a kickback, tricep kickback. That's our next set. Get ready. Here we go. To squeeze. So I'm in a sort of a C-sit position. And again, I'm not like using my shoulders to kick back. I'm isolated. And if you isolate, that's what will really, really define the muscle. If you're not using the rest of your body, you're isolated on that kick back. You tighten, kick, and you can see, hopefully my tricep is working. So tricep is here. So from here, you can see it kicking in. Good, let's see. Perfect, that's it. So well done. So now that you've got the form, just look forward. 
Make sure you're not twisted. Just look forward. Five seconds left. Good. Now pop your weights down. Okay, so your next one is going to be squat, twisted punch. Twisted punch, okay? Ready? Let's go. Squat, twisted punch. And I'm rotating the hip. And remember, if it gets too much, just lose your weight. Twist and punch. Good, 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 well done. Twist. Squeeze everything. We've got 10 seconds left. Oh, I love this song. All right, probably weight down. I think this is my, my son's favorite song this year. I hear it so many times in the car. All right, we've got overhead presses next. Ready? Let's go. Now with this one, again, just take note. Squeeze your bottom, squeeze your legs. And just do it at a pace that's comfortable for you. Now I'm working with two Ks, and I know 50 seconds of this will burn. But you've got to get to that point where it burns, Go a little bit more, and then if you get a little bit achy, just pop those weights down. Go through the motion without the weight. All right, well done. Four. So you've got fly coming up. Your fly looks like this. Try and get those shoulder blades together. Get ready. Three, two, one. Let's go. And again, squeeze. Isolate. Open. Try and get those shoulder blades together. I'm going to come and have a little look at this. I need you to drop down a little bit. So you're not too upright. That's it. Well done. So you want to look down towards the floor now to keep your neck in line with the rest of your spine. Just control your breath. Oh, well done, guys. Everyone is spot on with this one. Perfect. Good, good, good. We've got 10 seconds left. Good. Three, two, one. Good. Rest 10 seconds. All right, open and close this. Ready? Here we go. Open and close. Good, good, good. Ah, oh, well done. So just allow your elbows. Don't allow them to drop too much. You want to keep them in line with your shoulders. If it gets tiring and you're thinking there's too much pressure here, then go to outward lateral raise. It's up to you. You'll know when you feel it. Oh. Okay, guys, you've got 20 seconds left. 20 seconds. See? I promise I'm timing. All right, you've got 10 seconds. Actually, you've got six seconds now. Three, two, one. All right, pop your weights down. Grab yourself a quick drink. You're going to have 20 seconds rest here. Get your kettlebell ready or a rucksack or a bag or... Anything you can swing around. Please leave the small children where they are. <laughs> I need a drink. All right, so grab those kettlebells. Let's go straight into kettlebell swing. We're going to take the hips back. Throw your hips forward. Let's go. <laughs> Now I want you to keep your shoulders relaxed and allow yourself just to follow the weight. So you kick back, snap your hips, kick back, snap your hips. 
relax. Good. Now, in five seconds, you're going to move on to one arm. Just choose which arm you're going to do. Ready? Three, two, one. And I'm going to put my hand on my hip, my free hand. You can have the arm out to the side if you want to. But again, take your hips back and allow those hips to follow the bell. So turn to the side. Squeeze. Okay, you've got 10 seconds here, then we're going to change the arm. All right, change. You really, you've really got to make sure your hips are nice and uh, neutral, nice and square. So don't twist. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Come on, you're doing really well. Woo. Now in three seconds, or in three, two, one, you're going to alternate. So one arm. Change at the top. Change the arm. Relax the shoulder. Come on, keep these squats going. Hips back, squeeze. Come on, come on, come on. Push it. This is important. So you squeeze your bum as your hips go forward. Keep your balance. Good, good, good. You're doing amazing. Easy there, back to double, hold. Just 20 seconds here. I know you're getting tired. Oh, I feel it. But just as it's kicking in. Last five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Oh. Right, from here. Watch deadlift. Legs are slightly bent, ever so slightly. Then you snap and stand. Go, go, go. So push your hips back. Snap and stand. Relax the shoulders. I'm just going to come and have a look at the room on this one. I haven't seen the deadlift for ages. That's it. So don't bend your knees so much so it's not a squat. Just slightly bent. It's more of legs straight. Legs straight. And then you snap and stand. Straight leg, snap and stand, that's it. And squeeze your bum cheek as you stand. So that is your deadlift. Good, that's it, squeeze. Okay, last eight seconds. Three, two, one. All right, well done. We're gonna go on to one side. We're going to do 20 seconds like this, 20 seconds pull, 20 seconds over, let's go. So this is your attitude to the side. Good, 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 keep it going. Stop, watch it go dark. Now bend the arm, up. I keep putting my weight on my foot. <laughs> Five seconds here. All right, up and over. Ready? Up. Four. As far as you can. Oh my gosh. All right, well done. Change your arm, other side. Start with those attitudes. Lean slightly back. All right, from there, arm up. Elbow.
world. Thumbs on the bell ball. Round the world, slow down. Then the other way, up, slow. Take it up, slow. And again, keep it going. This cuts in here, Sli side oblique. So really allow yourself to twist so that you can feel everything coming in. Just not using your back, it's a twist. Twist. Ah, well done. What a tune. All right, you've got 10 seconds here. All right, pop your stuff down, grab a drink if you need to. You've got 10 seconds. I love this song. I love that they put Christmas bells and just called it a Christmas fitness anthem. <laughs> it's like East 17 song, in it? Just a couple of bells. All right, watch. You're going to go squat, upright row. Squat. Go, go, go. Ready? 
Let's go. Half curl. Keep your back nice and straight. We've only got two more moves left. So your half curl is one and then you've got one more. Good, good, good. That's it. Don't lean back. Keep your back in. Here. Good, good, good. And even if you're catching up on this, presume I'm watching you. I've always got a way. All right, three, two, one. Okay, so you're going to go over and you're going to dig. So again, you're twisting, digging. Ready? Go! Keep it going. You are nearly there. You are 30 seconds away. 25 seconds away. 20 seconds away. Ah, oh, well done. That's it. Really drive your elbows up. Nice. Well done. Ah, oh, you're all superstars. Last 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Breathe, pop your weights down. 